So I recently got a request to archive the Aptiva CD I got with my Aptiva. And so I did, and then I also started thinking, hey, maybe I should look through it. So I'm going to give you the whole multimedia experience um, with this disc. So without further ado, here you go. The sound card is an important part of your IBM multimedia personal computer. Many popular personal computer software applications use the sound card for sound effects and music. Your sound card works with the CD-ROM drive to play audio compact discs and to process audio data files. The sound card is already installed and properly configured in your IBM personal computer. Your IBM Multimedia Personal Computer comes with high quality speakers. Most speakers have the controls shown. Your speakers may not have all these controls. To explore the functions of your speaker, click on each of the features. CD-ROM discs look like audio compact discs. To pick up a CD-ROM disc, grasp the inner and outer edges of the disc. Avoid touching the recorded side, the side of the disc without the label. Doing so could scratch or damage the disc. When a disc is not in its protective cover or in the drive, be sure to protect it from dust, ink, or any other materials that may damage the surface of the disc. Compact discs can be affected by heat. Do not use or store a disc at a temperature above 131 degrees Fahrenheit, 55 degrees centigrade. If your disc is dusty, wipe it with a clean dry cloth. If the recorded side becomes dirty with grease or fingerprints, purchase a CD cleaning kit. Follow the kit instructions for cleaning the disc. To insert a CD-ROM disc into your CD-ROM drive, make sure the computer is turned on. Press the eject button on the front of the CD-ROM drive. The loading tray will automatically open. Place the disc flat in the center of the loading tray. Make sure that the label is facing up. Close the tray by pressing the eject button or by gently pushing in on the front of the tray until it begins to retract on its own. When the tray is back in the drive, the disc will start spinning and the busy light will come on. After the CD-ROM drive initializes itself, the light will go off and the drive will be ready to access the information on the disc. That's it. <laughs> that is all the uh That's all it has. That's amazing. Now it does have these photo images, which I will show you in a minute.
and all the music you've been listening to either came as uh, MIDI files or as WAV files. So I'm going to let you just listen to the rest of it and enjoy. If you like this kind of video, just uh, put a like there, put a comment, subscribe, whatever, anything you do is appreciated. Thanks. If you didn't like it, dislike it. That's fine with me, dude.